In this video, I'm going to talk about object-oriented programming concepts. These concepts are very important for any programmer to learn. And uh, the ones that I'm going to talk about today are the most important ones. Number one is encapsulation. So what this means is that it is the concept of having data and associated methods to operate on that data, which is either to update it or to view it they are enclosed as one unit. In the programming world of Java and any other programming language, you would achieve that by building classes. Let's look at this class, the bicycle class that I have for demonstration. So this class has these variables and by the Lombok annotations, I would talk about Lombok separately but with getter and setter, there are the setter and getter methods available for this class. The setter I have set it to private, which means that you know those would only be accessed uh, within the class. But the getters are something that can be accessed outside of the class. So depending upon your needs, you can choose the access modifier that works for you. So with the, the data, the class has a constructor the class has certain other methods also which talks about the behavior of this class. So this, the whole uh, concept of data, the methods to modify, view the data, and the behavioral methods of uh, a particular unit being enclosed in, in the class is the concept of encapsulation. Now, let's look at the other concept, abstraction. Abstraction is the concept of having class structure without concrete implementations. So these type of classes are, are needed to be implemented in the concrete classes. And let me uh, walk you through with an example. Let's say I have an abstract class shape. This has one abstract method, which means that, you know, there won't be any implementation of that uh, method uh, that is provided here whichever class extends this particular class in other words the sub subclass of shape should be providing implementation for this abstract method and i have uh, two classes for that one is triangle which extends shape and provides an implementation for method draw it says triangle this side and then there is another subclass of shape which is I have named it at, uh, as circle and this also extends shape and provides a different implementation for the abstract method in shape which is draw it's a circle this side so this is the concept of abstraction where you are abstracting the method signatures to an upper layer the third concept is inheritance. This is the concept of inheriting properties and behavior from other classes or interfaces. Again, going back to the example of shape, where there was only a one method, and when triangle extended shape, it inherited the property and you know over overridden the method that was there in the shape. And similarly, the circle, which is also um, a class which extends shape, and by doing that, it inherits the properties or methods from the parent class. So this is how you can, uh, how you achieve inheritance in this world. This is what inheritance means. You could, uh, you could maybe have more examples where your base class also has, you know, lot of implementation and it's not only a strict abstract class and you could create subclasses to that and on top of the inherited methods you could add your own implementations which are specific to that subclass like in this other example where I have, I have bicycle as class and I have a city bicycle which extends bicycle now bicycle, uh, as, you, as you saw, it, it is not an abstract class, but I can still extend it. I can add more methods that are more relevant to city bicycle. 
but uh, you know not necessarily that those methods has to be present in the parent class so this is the important concept of inheritance where you are inheriting properties methods behavioral methods from the parent class and depending upon the access modifier for uh, uh, those methods you can either override them or just use them when you are creating object of those those subclasses the last concept that i'm going to explain is also very important this is polymorphism where an object can take multiple forms so uh, while explaining abstraction i showed you the shape class and uh, i created two subclasses for that triangle and circle which uh, extends the shape class now in the main method i have a shape object obj shape and in this first line i'm creating a triangle object and i'm printing obj shape or draw so here the object is taking the form of triangle in the uh, next set of code lines the obj shape is taking up the form of circle and it will execute the draw method so let me just run it now yeah for some reason my uh, system is behaving very slow today sorry for that so my code has you know a lot of other things also but uh, specifically the code that i just uh, showed you the first print statement prints triangle this is this side where the object uh, was taking the form of triangle and in the next one it took the form of circle so this is what you know polymorphism means i hope you like my video of uh, explaining the oops concepts do let me know if you have any questions for me and I will try to get back to you.